actually this is my son's bed. Uh, I borrowed it from my son because um, uh, it's the only bed available at home that I can take. And uh, this is my space over here for the last 11 days. Every night now for almost six weeks, Congressman Teddy Casino has made his bed on the floor of the Congress building. Accused of plotting to overthrow the government, he would be arrested if he stepped outside the gates. Well, this is really uh, strange because this is the speaker's office. This is where we hold our meetings and our committee hearings. Now this is where I sleep. Just across the room from Teddy, Congressman Rafael Mariano and his son lay out their mattresses, while in another corner, Congressman Sartor Ocampo also prepares to settle in for the night. The Congress building has become a prison for five elected representatives, all of whom insist it is President Arroyo who poses the real threat to democracy. The police and Mrs. Arroyo, they have all, you know, gone mad. There is no more reason, you know, there is no more um, fair play, there is no more respect for due process. In this country, there is no democracy. The plight of the congressman began on the 24th of February. That same Friday, these students were exercising democratic rights they took for granted. For months now, once a week, the students had been calling for the president's resignation. They didn't know it, but this week their march was illegal. On the grounds that a plot to overthrow her had been uncovered, Arroyo had just introduced martial law. Nagdeklara ako ng state of emergency dahil sa maliwanag at kasalukuyang banta sa Republika na atin na pag-alaman at napigil. May ilang sumubok lumihis sa Armed Forces Chain of Command, lumabag sa gobyernong sibil at magtatag ng rehimen sa labas ng saligang batas. Unaware of the televised declaration that morning, the students soon got their first taste of the new order. Police seemed to relish powers that hadn't been used since the dark days of the Marcos regime. Dozens were injured and many more taken into custody. I'll be one of the first to be uh, guilty of saying that I immediately said, Madam President, let's come out with a state of emergency. And there was unanimity with that proclamation. The President's Chief of Staff, Mike Defensor, claims that a majority of Filipinos approved of martial law. People supported it because the Filipinos do not want a coup d'etat. The Filipinos do not want uh, a military take over the government. We have had 20 years of that. And so when we came out with that and we explained it to the people, people understood and supported and rallied behind the president. But this was just the opening volley in Arroyo's crackdown. On Sunday, February 26th, two days after the students were attacked, six left-wing congressmen were accused of being involved in the plot to overthrow President Arroyo. 